Afternoon guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at the Rapid Raft. I've had this thing out and blown it up. I have not had it on the water yet. This is going to be the first time. I brought some accoutrements with me. I brought paddles with me. I brought PFD with me and things like that. You could also carry a small P PFD with you that I've got with me today that's small and packable. Or you could carry a larger one if you plan on using the raft. You could carry a large paddle like the one I have today. Or you could do something like a Spetsnaz shovel or create a paddle on the fly if you needed to. But something like this can be a good piece of kit to own for emergency water use. Or for if you're just planning to go somewhere you may want to fish for a couple, three hours. You want to get out on the water to do that. Something like this will allow you to make that happen and only weighs about four pounds and is the size basically of a loaf of bread. So stay with me, let's get this thing inflated. All right, so it has a buckle system here, very much like an air, like a dry bag, okay? And it comes with an extra buckle which screws on in the box in case you break this one for some reason. It also comes with a pass repair kit. And so you just open this thing up and this is going to allow you to basically unfurl the raft so we're going to do that now so the way this works is you just unsnap it and unroll it you basically kind of throw it out there in front of you make sure that it's opened up all the way undo the sides there unfold the sides once you have it unfolded you just open it up like a dry bag and you're going to basically catch air inside of it and then roll it down, kind of like you would a dry bag, pinching it all the way down to trap that air. And the more air you trap in this initially, the better off you're gonna be, because it can be probably much three quarters of the way inflated just by capturing enough air in it. But it does have a top off nozzle here And that's not taking very many breaths to get that thing right back to where it needs to be. And that is a one-way valve. Unless you push in on it, air's not gonna come out of it. So once you've got that thing snapped together, just like a dry bag, pretty much, and this is flat, this becomes the back of the raft. So you're navigating from the back to a pointed front. Now, I like the fact that this raft has tie-out loops so that you could actually run rope through here if you needed to, if you were towing this raft with something else like a canoe. And it also allows you to tie off equipment to this raft so that if you dump the raft for some reason, you don't lose everything at the same time. But now, the only thing left to do is get this bad boy over here in the water and see how she does. Okay, I've got a PFD here that actually has a cartridge in it that will blow it up if I fall out of the raft or something like that to expand this into a life jacket. I like something like this very much because it allows a lot of freedom of movement and it packs down very small. And that's the key, especially with something like this pack raft if you're trying to carry a PFD with you. Now, like I said, you could probably use something like a Spetsnaz shovel as a single paddle for this boat. If you were carrying it for emergency purposes and you carried a shovel. I brought a double paddle with me today from my canoe. And that's what we'll use today to see how navigable this thing can be in the water.
I don't think there's any doubt in anybody's mind. You're gonna get wet getting in and out of one of these. It's not, uh, unless you're getting in and out of it at a dock or something like that. If you're getting in and out of it at the water's edge, you're definitely going to get wet. Wear pants that you don't mind getting wet and are quick drying and shoes the same. We'll take them off for an emergency water crossing. Okay, so here's the deal. The bottom of this raft is just one sheet of material. It's not blown up flotation devices. So you do have some conduction there with the water. So if you got cold water, you're gonna have a cold tail end if you don't have something in the bottom of this thing to take care of that conductivity issue, okay? Because it's not real warm out today. It's probably 65 degrees maybe, something like that. Water temperature's not real warm yet either. And it got a little chilly not very long after I got out there on my butt. Same as being in a hammock without an underquilt or some kind of a pad. But at the same time, it seemed to navigate fairly well. It floated very well, it was stable in the water. Because it's so short, it obviously does jump a little bit like this when you're trying to steer it, but you just have to take shorter strokes to keep it straight. But I think something like this definitely has merit. There's no doubt in my mind that I drug it across some rocks right here, and I've drug it across quite a few rocks out here, and I haven't punched a hole in it yet. So we'll just have to see how it lasts over time. So the big question that most people have is, how difficult is this thing to pack back up into that small loaf of bread configuration? I'm going to show you that right now. First thing you need to do is, if you push in on this nozzle, it will allow air to escape. I don't know if you can hear that or not. And that really is just a relief valve to let the thing get soft enough that you can come back here and just undo the dry bag snap very easily and open it up. And that will completely let the air come out of the raft. So that's a very ingenious design on their part. And so now the raft is completely deflated and we can go back to folding it up the way it came. Now the best way to do this is gonna be very much like you do an air mattress. Just grab it and roll it up first. The first time just rolling all the air out of it. Just like that. And then flip it out again. And this time, you're going to want to flap it over one time, just like this on both sides. Kind of fold it even to the middle, about even with this neck right here. Just keep everything folded fairly neat as you go. that overlap and once you get up to the neck you don't need to fold anything else you can just roll it straight up the neck just like this and that's going to give you this configuration which all you're going to do at that point is fold both of these ends over just like this and snap it together and you're right back to that loaf of bread and ready to pack it out. All right, guys, well, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School, and I appreciate you joining me down here for a quick look at the Rapid Raft. We got her all packed back up now to head back to the homestead. I appreciate your views, I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thank you.